today we are making a heart. Fold your paper in half. Open it up. In the middle, in the middle of the paper, write L O to the left of the fold and V E to the right of the fold. Fold in half again. Fold on this side, open end on this side, and this side up so you can see the VE. If you're left-handed, chances are you want to do the reverse where you have the LO on top so the fold is in your right hand. But anyway, if you're right-handed, you want the folded side in your left hand, all right, on your left side. All right, grab your marker again to draw the heart. Choose a spot in the middle along the crease between the top and above the V. Choose a spot to start your drawing. You can even put a dot there to start it. Draw up towards the top, curving just a bit. When you reach the top, stop. Now you want to curve here. See your marker, draw your line to make it curve. So it gets maybe like a halfway point. There we go. Now from this side, you want to draw a curved slight straight line to the bottom here. Oops, to the bottom. So you want to draw a line so it goes here to the bottom. There we go. Actually, I'll flip this over so we can show if you're left-handed what you would do. All right, you got your LO showing and find a midway point along the fold here between the O and the top. Get a little dot, draw up towards the left, curve it to get to the top there. And then you want to curve and go ahead towards the side here. And now you want to draw down towards this bottom corner, right down here. A straightish line. All right, there you go. Now you have half a heart. All right, but since I'm right-handed, I'm going to flip this back over so I can draw, cut this side out. All right, so I'm grab my scissors. And I'm going to cut along the black line. And I'm cutting through both halves. Now I know my heart's going to look funky because of this book, because I did demonstration for the left handed there, but when you open this up, there you go. We have now a nice heart. Ta -da. All right, now that I have my love on the back, I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna start decorating my heart. I'm gonna be decorating my heart with tissue paper. First, I cut my tissue paper into small little rectangles. And I'd love to say there were squares, but rectangles here. Um, it's real easy to do. All I did to cut this up was to fold my paper and cut along the fold. And then to make smaller pieces, I would fold it in half again. Yes, it is two, I have two colors of tissue paper here. Purple and yellow. Anyways, we'll cut along the fold. Alrighty. Got a smaller piece, we're gonna cut, fold it in half again. And 
cut along the fold. I have really good scissors. In case you wonder, it's getting thicker and thicker in my pile. Fold it in half again. Once more. Cut along the fold here. Or just open part. Cut along the fold. And cut it one more, fold it in half one more time. And once more, I'm going to cut along the fold. Now I have a bunch of tissue paper rectangles in yellow and purple. All right. I actually want to separate these. You can use any color tissue paper you like. All right. All right. To make my tissue paper, I'm going to scrunch up my tissue paper to look like this. There's my purple. Here's my yellow. Um, and to do that, I take a piece of tissue paper, stick my finger in the center, and fold the paper around my finger. Bam. And kind of squish it. Ta-da! That's it. That's all I do. I lay flat on my hand, stick my finger in the middle, squish it around my finger. Boom. I got a squished ball of tissue paper with a point at the bottom. All right. And it's real easy to glue down. I got my glue stick here. And I'm gonna put a little dab of glue, or maybe not a little, I'm probably gonna put a nice big dab of glue on the bottom of my tissue paper. And bam, I'm gonna stick it down. I'll make a nice little purple rim. Take another piece, rub my glue on it, and Stick my second piece down. And I'm just going to build up a scene of tissue paper. Oops. Let me try that again. That makes it look good. yellow here at the bottom. The more tissue paper you have, the more compact it can get. Oops, to put my glue in the front there. Alrighty, I need to prepare some more pieces. Around here, put the glue on the bottom of my paper there. It doesn't have to be very pretty. I'm going to let my purple dot up here. I'm going to try and